Hey guys, today's lesson we'll be looking at molarity and concentration and in the next couple of lessons we'll be focusing on this to determine uh, the concentration of your solute in a solution. So we'll be looking at expressing concentration in terms of molarity and molarity is the same as concentration, so the amount of things you're dissolving in water. So concentration of a solution is usually expressed as the amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solution. And to do this, we, we use the, the equation here, molarity, or the concentration, uh, is equal to the amount of moles of the solute, so what we're dissolving, in uh, litres of solution, and usually that's litres of water. And we define it as a number of moles of solute per litre of solution. So just make sure you always change this to litres, uh, so if they give you in mils, just make sure you convert it back, otherwise they'll give you the wrong answer. Uh, so we use this equation here, C equals N over V, where C is equal to the molarity, so moles per litre, uh, or the concentration. Uh, N is the moles of solute, so what we're dissolving, and V is the volume of solution. And if the volume of a solution is in mils, just make sure you convert it back to litres. So we just times everything by a thousand. So moles per litre is the most frequently used method of expressing concentrations of the solution. And we use it as a, def, uh, a measurement of a definite volume of solution. So that means we know how much, is, uh, how much we have there. So if it's half a litre or a litre or more than that. And then we can make the known concentration and then therefore calculate the number of moles in there. So to do this, we can firstly uh, weigh the solid that we want to dissolve. So this can be salt-like sodium chloride. And we need to know the mass of how much sodium chloride we're going to put in there. So we need to weigh uh, the amount and then calculate the number of moles. So we use the molar mass of the substance, so NaCl, look up in the periodic table uh, how much the molar mass is, so add the sodium and the chloride together. Then find the number of moles of the substance using your equations we learnt before. And the next thing we do is transfer the solid into the beaker. So we need to carefully put it in, make sure all the solid gets in there. Otherwise what we weighed is not the same as what we put in. We then dissolve the solid thoroughly in deionized water uh, using a glass rod. So the glass rod is to make sure you don't spill any of the water and therefore we get an accurate amount of water in there. Step three, carefully transfer the solution into a volumetric flask. So a volumetric flask looks like that. Um, it's very accurate. It's, not a, uh, it's more accurate than using a measuring cylinder. So what we do is you, you have your concentrated solution, you pour it in there, it's not filled to the top, then you fill it all the way up to the specific line. There's a little engraved line there and that will give you a very specific volume. Next, so once we put the, the solution into the volumetric flask, we need to rinse the beaker with water to make sure we get everything out and we rinse that back into and put it into the volumetric flask. So we make sure we put it in there so then we keep all that solute you dissolved and make sure it gets all into the, um, the volumetric flask. And we repeat this several times to make sure everything gets in there. Next we add deionized water until the, solu the solution reaches the final volume. The final volume is remember the engraved line and that will tell you that you've reached whatever, 100, 250, 500, one, one liter. And when the solution is diluted, the number of moles of solute doesn't change. So what we, we weighed out is the same amount as what we put in there. Only the total solution volume changes. So we initially had a very strong concentration of salt because it was only in a small beaker. We then put it in the volumetric flask, filled it up to the top, and therefore the volume changed and therefore we've diluted it. So N is C times V, so the number of moles is equal to the concentration times the volume. And the value of the concentration times the volume is constant when you dilute the solution. So we can always write this as this uh, equation here, concentration of the first one, the first uh, solution, and the volume of the first solution is equal to the concentration and the volume of the second one. So this is a really important equation you need to remember. So subscripts one and two represent the two different concentrations. So the, this one is your first dilution, this one is your second dilution. So what we've just looked at is molarity, so concentration, 
how can we make up a specific concentration of solution using the volumetric flask. And then also we need to remember this equation here, C1V1 is equal to C2V2. So using all that, we can answer a few questions now. And question one, calculate the concentration of sodium hydroxide solution uh, when four grams of NaOH is dissolved in 500 mils. So what we need to remember here is that we need to make sure we use the four grams of NaOH. NaOH will tell us um, what we're dissolving, so we can then look up the, uh, the molar mass of it. And then we dissolved it in half a litre, so 500 mils. And because it's 500 mils, make sure we always convert it to 500, uh, 0.5 of a litre. Because make sure, remember, uh, molarity is not, never in mils, it's always in litres. So first of all, the number of moles of NaOH is 4 grams, 4 grams we weighed out, and the total molar mass is 40. So that's our number of moles, 0.1. So the concentration is going to be 0.1 moles over half a litre. Remember C equals N over V. So this is N and this is V. So then we can calculate the rest of it, which is after we put that into the calculator, we get 0.2 moles per litre. Because remember, moles and litres. We changed everything. So next question. Question two, calculate the amount of uh, silver nitrate in 1.2 litres of 0.2 molar solution. So whenever we write moles per litre, we can always change that to just a big M, which means molar, and that will always mean moles per litre, not anything else. So the important information here is we use silver nitrate. We have 1.2 uh, litres of it, and the molarity of that solution is 0.2. So these are all the things we need to remember to use. So the number of moles of uh, silver nitrate is equal to 1.2 litres um, and times 0.2 molar. So because N equals C times V. And what we get is 0.24 moles. So to calculate the number of grams that would be weighed out to prepare the 1.2 litres of this 0.2 molar solution, um, of the silver nitrate, we need to multiply the number of moles by the molar mass of the silver nitrate. So the grams of silver nitrate is 0.24, because we had 2.24 moles of it, and times the molar mass. So the molar mass of that compound is 170. What we get is then 40.8 grams we need to weigh out. So question three. How many mils of water must we add to dilute 100 mils of 0.2 molar solution of hydrochloric acid to become 0 0.1, a 0.01 molar solution? So remember, M usually is always um, moles per litre. And what we have is 100 mils of it at this concentration, 0.2 molar, and then we want it to become this. So what do we need to change? Like, what do we need to change? We need to change the volume. Remember, the, the number of moles is always constant. So here we're going to use C1V1 equals C2V2 because we have concentrations and volumes here. So we have 0.2 molar solution from the first one, and we have 100 mils of it. We said we took 100 mils. And what we want is this molar solution, 0.01. So how much do we need to make that? Because C is the constant. Uh, the amount of the, uh, the hydrochloric acid is the same, we're just changing the volume of water. So when we uh, move, divide both sides by 0.01, we're going to get 200 mils. So the final volume needs to be 200 mils, but that's not the answer because that's the final volume, but we already had 100 mils of it. So what we need to do is make sure we take away from the final, con uh, final volume the 100 mils we added. So 2000 minus 100 gives us 1,900 mils we need to add to it. Yep. So 1.9 litres is what we add to then get the final concentration of 0.01. So question four, calculate the molarity of hydrochloric acid solution in 555 mils containing um, 1.2 moles of hydrogen chloride. So what's important here is the 555 mils 
and it has 1.2 moles of hydrogen chloride in there. So what we can use is N equals C times V and we, all, we can make V the subject because we wanted to look, oh, C the subject because we want to look at molarity. So C equals N over V, that's how we, we just move the, the V over to the other side. So divide both sides by V, we get C equals N over V. And we substitute in all the values we know. N is 1.2 moles for hydrogen chloride and it's in 555 mils. Make sure you change that back to liters. So that's why it's 0.555. And what we get is 2.16 moles per litre, or moles, or molarity. So the next question, question five. Calculate the number of moles of mass, moles and mass of sodium chloride in 250 mils of 0.12 molar solution, or moles per litre uh, concentration of sodium chloride. So what's important is we need to use the N equals C times V and then we can say that we have 250 mils of this concentration. We can substitute all the values in. So C is 0.12 moles per litre, and V was 0.25 litres, 250 mils converted back to litres, and what we get is 0 .3, uh, 0.03 moles of sodium chloride we have. But we also want to know the mass of it. So make, we now need to calculate the mass. Mass is the moles of the sodium chloride, 0.03, times it by the molar mass, and that's 22.99 plus the 35.45 sodium and the chloride. And what we finally get is 1.7532. So in summary, what we did today is we just looked at molar calculating molarity, how to make up uh, solutions of known concentration. So we, that means we have a certain amount of solute, we weighed it out, we calculate the number of moles, put that into the water and then make sure we uh, accurately measure out the water using the volumetric flask and then therefore we know the concentration of the solution. And using that we can then calculate using the various equations we uh, looked at. So also remember N equals C times V and C1V1 equals C2V2. Mm -hmm.